Hello and welcome. My name is Kylie Bartlett, host of DTG TV. And in this week's episode, I'm going to explain to you the pathway that customers generally take on their way to purchase. It's a six step process. Step one is awareness. So let's say I want to buy a new watch. What I'll tend to do is go to Google and type in trending watches, the latest in watches, and I'll be inundated with all these different options, but usually to buy a watch. But I'm not ready to buy it. I'm at the awareness stage. So I'll then probably go over to Instagram, type in the search bar, hashtag watches. So what happens then is that all of the photos or videos that contain the hashtag watches comes up in my newsfeed. Then what I'll tend to do is hit the follow. So now I'm at an awareness stage. I'm now following all content that contains the word watches. And so maybe after a couple of days, a couple of weeks, oh, I've started seeing a couple of watches that I really like. And so now I'm moving into step two, which is the consideration stage. So let's say, for example, I've narrowed it down to uh, MVMT watches, the horse watches, the fifth watches. So they're three really prominent watch brands on social media at the moment. So then what I do is I go across and I follow those three brands because I'm at that consideration stage. And then I'm at stage three where I'm now talking about preferences. And I'm like, oh, I think I like the MVMT watch probably because they've got a lot of content of people wearing their watches and I want to be one of them. So now I'm at step three, the preference. So now I start to like some of their photos, maybe send them a private message asking some questions. And then I move into step four, which is I'm going to take action. So I then probably go and purchase that watch through their Instagram shop or their Facebook shop. So the watch arrives and the fifth stage is retention. How do you retain me? I've bought the watch. What are you going to do to delight me? Am I on your email list and you send me maybe a code to get something off when I shop later on because they also sell accessories like sunglasses. What are you going to do to delight me and retain me? And now the all crucial stage is step six, which is advocacy. What are you going to do to delight me so much that I want to be a part of your tribe? I want to be an advocate and that I take a photo of my watch and hashtag MVMT, hoping that you'll see it. So then if you go to MVMT and they've got millions of followers, these guys started in 2013. They were school dropouts and they now turn over 90 million US dollars a year. And the reason they're doing so well is that they understand this pathway to purchase and that all important point, step six, which is advocacy, where now their community, their tribe, can't wait for their watch and their photo to be showcased on their social media. This is known as user generated content, but people will not tag you or promote you until they're at that advocacy stage. Now you can do this six path, these six steps to the pathway to purchase organically, or you can throw some ads around it depending where they are in that pathway and that will obviously speed up the process. So let me summarize again, we go from awareness Big amount to look at, down, narrow it down to consideration, then narrow it down to preference. And then from preference is the take action. I purchase the product from action. It's retention. What are you doing to retain me? And then the all important step, which is where you make lots more money, which is repeat business where I become an advocate. So really take that into consideration, map out what is the pathway to purchase your products and how are you using online in particular social media to get it from awareness consideration, preference, action, where the conversion happens, where they make a sale, retention, delight me with gifts and products and specials and discounts. And then I will turn into an advocate and become a big promoter of your products and services where you make lots and lots more money. I hope you found this episode to be useful. And until next week, bye for now.